This political charge comes on the heels of Trump's third run for the White House and surging support as the GOP frontrunner. Laura Trump visited my radio show this morning where she slammed the get Trump at all costs mentality of the Democrats and their GOP enablers. We uh, are not the same country today that we were when we all woke up yesterday. We're not the same country that has stood for nearly 250 years. Uh, we crossed a line yesterday and you're right. We have more in common today with uh, the USSR, with Cuba, with North Korea than we do with the freedom we have always enjoyed here in the United States of America. Yeah, maybe not we, but they, the left. Joining me now for reaction and discussion, former California Congressman and CEO of Trump Media and Technology Group, Devin Nunes. Uh, Congressman, thanks for joining me on such a, a somber day. Look, let me, let me just ask you, have you talked to President Trump? What's his reaction? Look, I actually haven't spoke to him. I think he's been a little busy the last 16 hours here. And of course, we're here at Truth Social just trying to keep the internet open to make sure that Donald Trump and millions of Americans around the world actually have an ability to communicate with people because this is so bad. Believe me, if they could right now, they would shut us down so that President Trump and millions of Americans, Newsmax, et cetera, would have no voice. That's how bad this has become. Yep. Well, that, that's how the Russian government used to operate. That's how the current Chinese government operates. And you know, a lot of Democrats have histories of being friends with the former Soviet Union. A lot of Democrats have histories of praising China and actually voting to support China. Laura Trump says the U.S. government now has more in common with, with the former Soviet Union at places like Cuba. Does any Democrat or Republican, for that matter, deserve the title of American if they work to overthrow and undermine and shred the Constitution and the rule of law? Well, let, let me walk through what's really happening here, what we've seen over the last two weeks. And Chris, we actually touched on it a little bit last week on your show. And, and that is this. The Democratic Party is divided, was divided into three groups. One of the groups, the old Roosevelt Democrats, that group no longer exists anymore. And it's really between the establishment Marxist communists, the Pelosi wing establishment people who just want to use Marxism to be elected, and they want to hold office. Then you have this other wing, the Soros anarchist wing, that is working hard to destroy America and bring in their rule of anarchy because and, and take out the entire republic and put in their own system that they think is, is working. And that's the fight within the Democratic Party. And what you saw happen here over the last couple weeks is that you had this war going on between the corrupt Biden Department of Justice that initiated the Mar-a-Lago document hoax raid, which now led to a special counsel who has no business being a special counsel at all. Uh, they have been fighting and putting pressure on this Soros lunatic DA in Manhattan, who, because the Soros, remember Soros and these DAs, there's, I mean, they're controlling all the big cities across the globe, I mean, across the United States yep. now. So that fight has been going on, and, and you saw the Soros anarchist wing this week actually do something that, that was, was pretty impressive uh, by all, all accounts, and that was they sent the smell off. They said, oh, everybody, it's Easter. Grand jury's not going to meet any, anymore. Everybody's going on vacation because at the Washington, D.C. establishment, they were calling everybody they knew in Manhattan, tell this guy to stop, tell this guy to stop. They think this guy's so bad that it screws up their Mar-a-Lago document hoax indictment that they want to bring. So my guess now is that that they're now it's Katie bar the door. I'm guessing this is the, the first. I, they're going to probably bring one in Georgia. I'm sure this lunatic special counsel, Department of Justice, they're going to bring them too. Yeah. They don't care. They're burning the country down is what's happening here. The, right we before, are in a right before lawless, our very eyes. lawless country right now. Chris. And, you know, the yep. more people that leave California, New York to these red states, they think they're winning. When they see homelessness on the street, they think they're winning. Um, you know, it's the old saying, show me the man and I'll show you the crime. And Donald Trump mm -hmm. is the only one standing in their way. And that's why they have targeted him. And we are living in, in what has really become a scary police state right now. Well, well, Congressman uh, Soros out there, Emperor Palpatine, he, laughably, he's denying he has any ties 
to Alvin Bragg. We've got we, uh, Chris Ruddy, the CEO of this of this company, put together a laundry list of evidence that just shows all of these ties. It's an absurd claim, but that's what, of course, as you know, left wingers lie. They always lie. Speaking of which, a key architect in the Trump Russia collusion hoax. And a man who said no reasonable prosecutor would bring charges against Hillary Rodham Clinton's illegal homebrew server, disgraced FBI Director James Comey going on a victory lap over this indictment, tweeting out, quote, it's a good day. He was just one of many Democrats cheering on these charges and abandoning this uh, innocent until proven guilty American principle. Uh, saying no one is above the law, said Mr. Comey. Yeah, nobody except James Comey. Nobody except Hillary Clinton or Barack Obama or Joe Biden or Hunter Biden. Your reaction, sir? Well, well, this is the guy who creatively was able to take classified information, launder it through a lawyer, and then leak it to the New York Times. And then when he was deposed by us uh, for one of the smartest guys, very, very capable lawyer, said, I don't know, I don't remember, I don't remember how many times, 400 times, 500 times during the, when we deposed him. <laughs> he, had, he had total amnesia when it came to anything to do with, uh, with the Russia hoax. And so the, the fact that it, look, it's just a great example, Chris, of how corrupt we've become, where you have people like this that were at the highest echelons who probably still have connections into the Democratic left who are celebrating this lawlessness, it's enforce the laws on whatever law we want to make up. Let's even make up laws because we know above all else, we know better than you. And so we're going to create laws and indict our enemies, weaponize the justice system. And yet we don't give a damn because we get away with whatever we want. And that's, you know, Comey got away yeah. with that. And it's just, it's just pathetic. Um, you know, look, a lot, there's the challenge that Congress has in Washington right now is, they have so many investigations that they need to do, but there's still a lot of stuff that's still left on the table, like Comey and that whole cabal. That still needs to be left. I know. The whole Russia hoax, that whole era still needs to be investigated. Yeah, I know. I know. And, and uh, I don't know how much time we have to get that done. Devin Nunes, Congressman, thank you very much for the visit, as always.